Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from GMG Studio. Today I will show you something really cool. How to run native iOS code from Unity. And the best thing, we will use Swift packages. This is pretty new in the iOS development. And I know many iOS developers who don't even know how they work. If you can write iOS code, this helps you a lot to access native iOS features easily. Maybe we should have made a tutorial series to learn Swift, so you can write iOS code as well. Are you interested? Let us know in the comments. But now, let's start. First, open Xcode, then press Command Shift N or go to File, and New, and then Package. Then name it whatever you want. I will just call it Native iOS Code. Now, the first thing we want to do is to delete everything in this test file because it doesn't compile and we don't need it anyway. Then we will go to the native iOS code file and we can delete everything what is in the struct. Now make a right click and go to new file and make a new Swift file. We will call it expose functions. Now we will go to the native iOS code file. And we will make a static func so we can access it easily. And we will call it run native code. And now we will add a print statement because it is an easy showcase. And we will add some emojis so we can find it easily. Now we will go back to the expose functions file. And we will expose a function to the C code. We will add a notation, add underscore C decimal, and write the name of the function below. In our case, native iOS code underscore one native code and we will just call native iOS code dot one native code. I just run command B to make sure everything compiles. I just open the folder of the Swift package in the finder and open the terminal and wrote CD and then dragged and dropped the folder into the terminal so we can navigate to the folder. The next thing is we want to run Swift package generate Xcode project and skip extra files. You can find the comments in the description. We just created a Xcode project from our Swift package. And now we want to make a framework of this Xcode project. You can find the comment in the description. So we can use this framework in our Unity project, which is actually pretty cool. Now on my Unity project, I made a new folder plugins and then I made a new folder iOS. And then we can drag the framework we just created into this iOS folder. Now click on the folder or the framework you just imported and check add to embedded binaries and press apply. Now go back to assets and I made a scripts folder and I make a new C sharp script. Call it whatever you want. I will call it showcase. And now we can add the component to the main camera. We will just press add component, add the showcase. This is just for showcase only, as the name says. Now we will open the C -sharp script. First, we will check if we are on iOS with hashtag if unity iOS, and then we will import internal. This lets us call the framework function we just created with the iOS code. We will call it native iOS code underscore one native code. This is the same name as we used in the iOS code, where we exposed the function. Then we make a private void one native code, which we call native iOS code underscore one native code. And then in the start method, we will check if Unity iOS one native code. If not, we will call debug.log no iOS device. And now we have to use system.runtime.interrupt services. Now let's open Unity and check if everything compiles. And as we hit run, it runs, but we have an error. Let's refactor it a bit. We don't want to check in the start method if we are on a native iOS device. We want to check it in the private wide run native code. So we can copy the code from the start method. So if we are on an iOS device, we can call our native code with native iOS code underscore one native code. And if we are not, we can just debug.log no iOS device. 
and now we can call one native code from the start method without checking the device. Let's see if it is working. Now we just have to run it and we can see it tells us no iOS device. Perfect. Now we can go to file, build settings and we have to switch to the iOS platform and now we can build it wherever we want. After the build finished, we can open the Unity iPhone Xcode project. Maybe you will have some signing issues, but this is easy. Just click on Unity iPhone, signing, and then enable automatic signing and select the team. Let me show you. Signing and capabilities, automatically manage signing and select the team. Now you have to select your iPhone, of course it has to be plugged in. Let me plug in mine. And now press the run button or just hit command R. And now after it's running on the iPhone the console opens up, let's make it bigger. And we can see our print running native iOS code. Guys, this is it. This is how you run native iOS code from a Unity game. Yes, this is it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. It wasn't that big of a deal. I thought it would be way harder, but we made it. Guys, I hope the video was helpful. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating, stop consuming.